Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. Uh, in this video, I just wanna take you through over the last couple of weeks, how I've been using AI to get a lot more done in a lot less time. It is a technology that is reaching that point now where there's real world, real life applications for it. And if you're not using it, I really do think you're missing out. So we're gonna dive into five ways that you can use AI today uh, using real life tools that are open to the public. Uh, we're gonna start off with how you can use it to unclog creative blocks, then look at how you can use it to supercharge your researching before looking at how you can use it to create art and then how you can use it to create and finally, how for me, it's actually helping me learn a lot quicker than just using books or videos. So yeah, we'll take a look at each of those in a bit of detail and I'll just be sharing on the screen uh, exactly how I'm using it. Okay, so let's say that we're just brainstorming some new ideas for a new product initiative that we have or something that we need to do in work. And we're basically just using a tool like Whimsical or something to mind map stuff. So here um, I'm actually trying to think of ways to gamify uh, a product that I'm that I'm currently working on and imagine that I'm on a creative block. So usually what happens when you're brainstorming is you reach a creative block and then you either go for a walk or you know you let some kind of new idea bubble up. Um, these are all still great options, but I actually think there's a better option now, which is just to try and like attack it and work through the brainstorm uh, as, as well as you possibly can. So the way that we do this is you can use um, Notion's uh, plugin for AI Assist to actually just brainstorm ideas directly. So let's imagine here that we are working on this product uh, problem where I want to figure out ways to gamify uh, my product. And I can basically just type in here, how could I gamify my product to make it more interesting for users? Press generate, wait a few seconds. And here it's already come up with like a few ideas that I can have. So uh, create a leaderboard, kind of common sense, but nice. Uh, mini games, didn't think of that. That might be a really cool way to, to incorporate gamification, actually have games within the game. Uh, you know, different levels of achievement, multiplayer aspects. This is actually kind of mind blowing, like how powerful this, this is. Um, and you can just apply this to any problem that you have. So whereas before you would have to just kind of mind numbingly try and work through the problem. Now it's like you've got someone sat next to you who's just bouncing ideas and it's completely free and completely uh, usable through, through the Notion API. So yeah, take a look at that. You can get on uh, this by applying to Notion's alpha version of the AI product. Really, really a great way to just power through any mind block that you might have. Okay, so the next thing that we're gonna be looking at is how you can use AI as a research partner. So, you know, a lot of people might, writers might employ researchers to, to come and work for them, maybe thirty, forty thousand $40,000 a year. Now you have the power of a researcher at your fingertips and you can get, you know, answers like that. It really is incredible. So let's take a look at this. So let's imagine that I've got to give a presentation on uh, blockchain technology and I just want to find out a bit more about that. Okay, so I've got here uh, like an overview of blockchain technology and now I can just dig into any specific elements. So it's output here, some applications of blockchain and let's say I want to understand how it could apply to voting systems. So I might just say, can you tell me more about how it could be used for voting systems? Okay, and then here I've got you know an example of um, of you know where it could be used in a in a voting system and all of that, and I might just see if it's going to give me a specific use pet case, or let's imagine a hypothetical use case. Can you give me a hypothetical use case for this? And let's just spell that because I can't spell. And then here it has like, it's just output, like, you know, imagine that a country's holding a national election, it's telling me through it, it's telling me the story. So immediately this could be like a couple of slides in a presentation about blockchain. The first one is just an overview of the technology. Then the second one could be, you know, the examples of where it could be used. And then the third one could be a case study of, you know, where it could be used and what it could be used for using this national election as an example. So hopefully you're seeing like how powerful this can be as a research component when you're putting together stories or slides 
or research papers or whatever it might be. I've been using this quite heavily, to be honest, uh, when putting together decks and I found it incredibly useful, far better than Google when it comes to finding out this kind of information. Okay, the third thing that we're gonna look at is how we can use AI to generate art for us. Now, graphic designers, UX designers, uh, they are very expensive and often the process of working with them is quite convoluted. You either have to find someone on a website like Fiverr or 99designs or someone that you know. You have to arrange like, you know, the contracts of employment and all this kind of thing. Or if it's Fiverr, the, the one-off payment, it's not that easy and also can be quite expensive. So one tool that we're gonna look at is Dali, which you've probably heard of and it's a way for you to generate royalty-free AI images that you can use and I've been using this for blog post articles to do uh, images for that and yeah really the, the the scope of the use of something like this is just constrained by your imagination. So, so let's imagine here that I'm creating a article on AI and how it could be used for the future and in my head I want to create yeah an image of maybe a poster in the future that shows like you know, the AI is coming, uh, something like this that would make a good uh, blog article. So uh, let's have a look. Create an image of a poster in a futuristic style. And there you have it. Here's four like pretty cool posters, to be honest, um, that could easily be used for a, for a blog title on the subject. I could make it any kind of artistic style that I wanted. Really, you can play around with this so much. And you know, imagine if I tried to get a graphic designer to do one of these for me, it would have cost hundreds of dollars. Um, so yeah, really quite incredible what you can do with this tool. And again, something that I'm using on a weekly basis just to generate images. Uh, it's it's gonna be crazy to see how this technology is gonna develop over the next few years and how widespread it's gonna be. The final thing that we're gonna look at here is how you can use AI to learn things way quicker. So my usual process for learning something is to be honest, just get like a couple of books on the subject, uh, read it, and then any areas of interest I'll just dig into on blog articles, and then I'll try and, I don't know, put some practical application in there, like building something in the space or whatever it might be. Um, this has actually made it a lot quicker for me to just learn about things that I have no idea how to do. Um, so we're going to use this as an example of how to learn about SEO marketing, which is something that I'm trying to do at the moment, but literally have no idea how to do. So on Playground, on uh, the OpenAI uh, beta, so anyone can get access to this again, uh, it's kind of like ChatGPT, but it's slightly different language models. And also you get a history on Playground, which you don't get on ChatGPT, which is one of the reasons why I like using it. So let's just ask it um, how can I start creating an SEO strategy? And then I'm just gonna submit that. Okay. And it's literally giving me like the five first steps. So let's just ask it to dig into point two. I don't know why I ask it, please. There's probably no reason to say please. Okay, so say I'm wanting to know how to research, it's outputting here, make a list of you know keywords and phrases that are relevant to your business. So I'm gonna say, tell me more about Google Keyword Planner. Okay, so I already know now about keywords, which I didn't know about before. Uh, I know about Google Keyword Planner. Um, and then the third step it says is develop content that is optimized for your target keywords. Consider creating blog posts, videos that can be optimized for search. Okay, so then I can say here, um, you know, can you give me some ideas for articles around my company? We sell tea. Uh, so if I just submit that. and it's come out with 10 articles that I could even use for SEO. So yeah, it's kind of crazy. You might spend again, 40, 50,000 pounds a year on an SEO specialist. I've got some of the information in just a couple of minutes and I could even use this to now start drafting the articles. Uh, I might actually make a whole video on this uh, for people who are interested in SEO, but yeah, it's, it's, it's honestly nuts, some of this stuff. So yeah, that's basically the video. I just wanted to give you a quick overview of some of the tools I'm using, how they're helping me uh, 
basically work probably at 2x the speed that I was before. And I'm sure that you can start implementing these straight straight away. Really, honestly, the the, the limit to this is, is your imagination. Uh, these tools are just basically freeing us up of all the low leverage work that we were having to do. So it really is like the, the ideas people I think that are gonna thrive in the next uh, 10, 10 years or so, because yeah, it's difficult to imagine how people who are doing this work now are not gonna be replaced by AI, which is a scary thought because yeah, what are these people going to do? But yeah, I hope you've enjoyed that. If you've got any comments, leave them down below. And I'm probably going to make some more videos just deep diving into each element of this. So be sure to subscribe and you'll be notified of anything that I put out. Thanks a lot and enjoy the rest of your day.